everyone! Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Pocket Camp video. So, gardening has always been a big focus in the Animal Crossing games. Figuring out how to breed your favourite flowers could take ages in previous games. But in Pocket Camp, there aren't as many flower breeds. Except if you count the gardening event breeds, which I'm not going to count for this video because they're only seasonal. So, I thought in today's video I'd make a quick and simple guide to gardening in Pocket Camp and teach you all how to obtain certain flowers and seeds that you'd like. So, let's talk about cross-pollination. In order to obtain rarer and different colour seeds, you have to cross-pollinate different flowers together. Cross-pollinating is done by having a harvested flower in your inventory and then tapping a fully bloomed flower in your garden. After that, you can select the cross-pollination option and breed the two flowers together. There are many different seed results which can happen after cross-pollination depending on the flowers you chose to breed, and it's even possible to just fail cross-pollination completely. A large portion of the flower breeding mechanisms in Pocket Camp are similar to genes in real life, so every flower and seed has two genes, and even if a flower has the same colour as another, they could have different gene combinations. Quick tip! Flowers that are bought from Lloyd in the garden always have the exact same gene combination. For example, red pansies have red and white genes and yellow pansies have yellow and white genes. So while breeding new flower colours, instead of using ones you've collected from cross-pollination, it's best to use flowers obtained from him instead. Knowing the genes for flowers from Lloyd can help you to predict what cross-pollination results are possible. For example, if you cross-pollinate a Lloyd red pansy, which has red and white genes, with a Lloyd yellow pansy, which has yellow and white genes, there's a 29% chance you'll get orange or yellow pansies, and a 21% chance you'll get red or white. So there are eight different colour flowers you can get for tulips. Red, orange, yellow, pink, purple, blue, white and black. But for pansies, you can also get red and blue and yellow and blue. So I'm going to go through each colour selection of flower you might be looking for to help you find out which flowers to breed together for an easy result. Remember that you won't always get the colour you're looking for straight away as the flower breeding works in percentages. There is about a 10% chance that when cross-pollinating the breeding will just fail completely. And like I said before, depending on which flowers you're breeding there will be a different percentage chance of what flower you will get. For example there could be a high percentage chance that you'd get a purple tulip rather than a blue one. So don't feel disheartened if you don't get the colour you want from cross-pollination the first time. Just don't give up, keep gardening and keep cross-pollinating until you get the flower you're looking for. So first of all, tulips. To get a red or yellow tulip, you can purchase them from Lloyd. To get an orange tulip, you can cross-pollinate a red and yellow tulip. To get a pink tulip, cross-pollinate an orange tulip from Lloyd and a red tulip from Lloyd. For better results, you can also try cross-pollinating a friend's pink tulip with an orange tulip from Lloyd. To get a white tulip, cross-pollinate two orange tulips from Lloyd together. For a better chance of breeding a white tulip, you can also cross-pollinate an orange flower from Lloyd with a friend's blue flower. To get a black tulip, cross-pollinate two orange tulips from Lloyd together. For a better chance of breeding a black flower, you can breed an orange flower from Lloyd with a friend's black tulip. To get a purple tulip, the most common way is to cross-pollinate a black and pink tulip as there is a 17.5% chance you'll get a purple tulip as your result. You need to do this to get a blue tulip too, as the blue tulip gene is a recessive gene inside of the purple tulip. But if you try to breed purple tulips using a friend's purple flowers, your tulips won't have the blue recessive gene inside of them. So it's best to breed from within your own garden if you're wanting blue tulips as well. So, to get a blue tulip. First of all, plant your purple tulip in your garden. Just so you don't waste your purple tulips, breed a Lloyd orange tulip with a purple tulip. This way you will get a white or orange tulip that has a blue recessive gene. After this, throw away all your purple seeds because they won't have the blue recessive gene. Then plant the orange and white seeds that you just got. But remember that not all orange seeds will have a recessive blue gene. After this, you can cross-pollinate an orange or white tulip with your purple tulips and have a 25% chance of getting a blue tulip. For easier results, you can breed any orange tulip from Lloyd with a friend's blue tulip and you'll have a 50% chance of receiving a blue flower. Now that you know what to do to make blue flowers, I'll give you a quick explanation on how to get every colour of pansies too. To get a red pansy, buy one from Lloyd. To get a yellow pansy, you can also buy one from Lloyd. To get an orange pansy, cross-pollinate a red pansy with a yellow pansy. To get a white pansy, cross-pollinate two red pansies from Lloyd together. To get a coral pansy, cross-pollinate two yellow pansies from Lloyd together. To get a blue pansy, cross-pollinate two coral pansies together. 
To get a purple pansy, cross-pollinate a blue pansy with a red pansy from Lloyd. To get a red and blue pansy, cross-pollinate a blue pansy with a red pansy from Lloyd. And finally, to get a yellow and blue pansy, cross-pollinate a yellow pansy from Lloyd with a blue pansy. Breeding flowers can be really fun because you can try to collect all of the flower-themed furniture and clothing that you're able to trade them for with Lloyd. But you can also just try to breed whatever flowers you like the most so that your garden looks the way you want it, or so that it fits with the aesthetic of the season or your campsite's decoration. But yeah, that's all for today guys. I hope that this video could be at least a little bit helpful to some of you. I tried not to focus too much on the percentages and genes of the flowers, as I know that can be confusing, especially when you're just starting out the game, or for younger players. So I hope that this could help simplify the flower breeding process for some of you, and I hope that you can all collect whichever flowers you like the most a lot easier now. But yeah, if you liked this video, please do leave a like and subscribe, only if you want to though. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll speak to you on my next video. Bye!